Hello guys, welcome to today's video by Trust Stanley and this is a TS Tech Talk video. So on today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you guys what to do when you have a copyright claim on your YouTube channel. So um, let's dive into this guys and go ahead and access your studio app. Um, actually, there are other uh, tutorials I was supposed to make before now, but um, I just got this uh, um, copyright claim on my video and I actually need to address this. Now, when you click on your studio section, it brings you to the dashboard of your, um, at the, um, to the creator's area of your YouTube content creation. And guys, this video is not for everybody. It's actually only for um, content creators. So when you are on this particular section, you should notice right there, there is this, my own is always here, but on some device, it can be on the left. Um, it's usually here, um, displaying right here, or you can see it displaying right here where you have the news, depending on the person. And most times, if it's a violation, it will be displayed right here. You notice where it has this content violation. That is where it displays, but usually the um, copyright always displays in the middle. So, um, guys, I have a copyright claim on this, on a particular video on my channel. And we cannot go to the content as, we can just click on this option area to select that particular video. And you can notice right there, there are two different videos that have copyright claim. This one, I have already as, um, addressed it. But if um, you have more than one right here, that means you have more copyright claim. Whenever you address them, they will be disappeared from this part. So this is actually the recent one, which is actually a, an old video that was claimed recently. But um, I, there is actually no issue about that. And guys, click on this view option to display the video and to display the option. So while it's loading, let me discuss this particular video because I remember this particular sound in this video. I already played this um, the sound that actually had the copyright and I knew the reason why the copyright came. Now the reason why the copyright came was because um, I was editing video with um, either shortcuts or u cuts Guys, um, I didn't actually know that I'm going to get a copyright because the song was actually a free song as of then. And if you notice this particular video, um, there is no date on this video but this video has been uploaded last year. But for some reason, they gave me copyright on this. And this is actually the song right here. This is the song. And you can notice that the song did not play all through from the beginning of the video to the end. And if you notice on this screen, the song played on this direction. You can notice this white area that was highlighted by YouTube. That is the only area the sound actually played. So um, when um, this song actually entered my video, all they have to do is actually, um, YouTube will actually specify that there is a copyright claim and this is the person that made that claim and it's actually the person's song. This is the name of the song, I think. It used to be free and I made use of it. Um, so that is actually one reason why you guys do not need to make use of any free song you see online. Just make sure you get the song from YouTube library. I've already made video about that. But um, once in a while, I still make use of this because I thought it was actually safe. But after this lesson, I'm never going to try to use this server again. So um, to change this song, it's actually very easy to change it. Um, normally, I can click to play the song. Normally, when you click on play, it's going to play that particular area, where this particular area that was actually affected. So, but I do not want to play the song again so that it won't affect this video. So to actually take effect or to remove this particular copyright, all you need to do is to click on this three dotted icon um, next to the section where it says um, the name of the song that was given copyright on. When you click on that particular option, there will be three different options for you. Trim out that particular section. When you click on trim out, it's going to take you to the YouTube video editor section where you'll be able to trim out that particular song. But if you want to replace this song, which is actually very safe, just go ahead and replace it. But if you want to mute it, that's fine. But I wouldn't advise you guys to mute the song. Use either of these two options. Either you trim it out or you replace the song. But replacing the song is actually my favorite part because adding a song right there is because I want the song to actually play and keep my users entertained while I do what I was doing on the video. So go ahead and click on replace song and it's going to display all of um youtube free songs for you and guys this is actually very trusted because this is actually a song that youtube paid and they have licensed on it 
So um, there is no need for you guys to be making use of a different song apart from this. Just make use of YouTube song instead of um, cutting it out, which is what I actually use all the time. So um, it have actually loaded successfully. So you can play the song to listen to the song and then click on add to choose. But I do not want to play the song because um, the section that actually needed song is not that much. But if you feel it's actually important, go ahead and click on play to listen to the song that you want to add. There are even more songs. There are so many songs on this library. Just go ahead and scroll down. Keep scrolling down and you're going to see so much more. And now you notice it says there are um there are more track matching your um there are more track matching your criteria. Try to narrow down the filter. Now if you want to narrow down the filter that means you have to search for that particular song right here. But I'm actually not interested in doing that. I'm just going to choose this particular first one that is matching the criteria of the previous song so when you click on it this is the song that was actually affected now you notice it now um, this song is now going to replace the old song which was previously there and you can notice that this song is actually two minutes long but if you notice right here it didn't actually cut up to two minutes so do not worry about editing the song after selecting it because automatically youtube is going to pick that song and put it on the same timeline where the previous one was so all you need to do now is to click on save and it will be saved and just click on confirm that you want to save it so once you click on confirm that you want to save it it's going to replace the song and you can notice right now that it says um video cannot be monetized which is actually previous so now you notice it says um video editing in progress so this is actually going to run automatically on the background you do not need to stay on this page anymore just go ahead and close it out so it's going to run automatically and once that is done it's going to be removed from this section and we are going to have only one display right here. So guys, this is all I want to show you on today's video. And I hope it's helpful. If it's helpful, please smash like and subscribe to the channel for more videos. I will see you guys on my next video. Please stay safe and peace.